Amazon sellers, how would you like to get 1% ACoS on your Amazon PPC campaigns? Like we did with these campaigns where we spent $16 on ads to get $1,500 in sales from those ads for our Amazon product with our Amazon PPC campaigns. That is a 1% ACoS. Here's another one with a 3% ACoS, another one with 9% ACoS, and another one with 14% ACoS. All very low ad spend and very low ACoS for any Amazon brand, even brands with super thin margin, these would be very profitable campaigns for. So what is it? How are we producing these results? Well, this is a very specific and very controversial setup inside Amazon PPC called low bid catch all campaigns, or as we like to call them, scavenger campaigns. And what they do is provide a very low volume of very high profit sales by automatically scavenging the entire Amazon marketplace all day and all night, looking for the times when competitors ran out of budget and there's no one there and the bids are really, really cheap and you just get super duper cheap clicks when this happens. Now it doesn't happen often, but these campaigns just run 24 seven and anytime this happens, they're there to snap it up. Now, if you're not running these campaigns, somebody is probably doing this to you. And if you're not setting your bids and budgets properly, this is where you're making yourself vulnerable to other competitors coming in and scooping up the cheap sales that you're missing out on. So if you don't know how to set your bids and your budgets, watch the bidding video on my channel and the budgeting video on my channel to make sure you get that right so that other competitors aren't just coming in and shaking you in the corner there once you're already out of budget and bleeding. Because when there's a space in the marketplace where suddenly nobody is bidding, competitors have run out of budget, and there's just an opening there, that's when these campaigns come in, swoop on down and scoop up those low bids and those cheap clicks to get super low ACoS sales. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to set them up for yourself. So let's walk through the step-by-step -step campaign configuration so that you can get super low ACoS sales for yourself with one of these scavenger campaigns. First of all, I would like to acknowledge in my team, Ignacio and Juana, two absolute all-stars on my Sophie team. Just for context, we are one of the single top spenders of Amazon PPC ads on the platform with over $3 million monthly in Amazon PPC ad spend. And all of these insights that I share on my channel are actually coming from my genius team. So it's not me, it's my awesome team. And in this case, Juana and Ignacio were the ones that really spearheaded how to do this right and how to do it lean. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna go into your ads console, you're gonna click create new campaign, go to sponsored products. And then what you're gonna do is add all of your products. So unlike my normal guidance, where you really want one product per campaign so that you can properly track it, this is different. A low bid catch all campaign needs all the products in there. So you're just gonna add all the products and now you're gonna add all of Amazon suggested keywords. So this is gonna be a keyword targeting campaign and you're gonna just add all of the keywords that Amazon suggests. And by the way, you can keep coming back and Amazon will suggest more and more keywords so you can continue adding to this list. So you're gonna be like, wow, I'm advertising all my products on all these keywords. This campaign's gonna overspend like crazy. Here's where the trick comes into play. The way to set up a low bid catch all campaign or a scavenger campaign is to set the maximum bid at 10% of the Amazon suggested bid. And that's the maximum. Normally you're gonna be more like around 5% of Amazon suggested bid there. So if Amazon is suggesting a bid of $2, you're gonna bid never more than 20 cents, but you'll probably bid something more like 10 or 15 cents. Start with the match type that's already producing the best results for you and then try different campaigns for each match type with the same exact setup that we just discussed. Set the bids to dynamic down only and you're off to the races. Now, one thing to note about these campaigns is you're not gonna get a massive amount of sales from them, but what you are gonna get is sales that are super profitable. So just having them allows you to make the whole account more profitable because they consistently bring in low A cost sales at a very low volume week after week if you set them up properly and you manage them properly. So what this does is it just brings down somewhat the average A cost for the whole account. Now in a second, I'm gonna tell you how to supercharge this and get more profitable sales out of the same type of configuration. But first, let's go through some examples. So here's an example of scavenger campaigns that we had for one of our brands in the baking space. You could see that we spent $90 in sales to get $1,050 in revenue, which is a 9% ACoS, much lower than the average ACoS for the whole account, which is 51%. And again, this isn't a huge volume of sales, right? 
But the point is that it's consistent and predictable. These scavenger campaigns, the point of them is that since the bid is so low, they only activate when some kind of placement inventory opens up that nobody is bidding on because everybody has run out of budget or just for whatever reason, nobody is bidding on that placement at that particular time in that particular location. That's when these campaigns activate. So they might do no sales for hours or days, but then as soon as that placement comes into play, the scavenger campaign swoops in and takes that super low bid click and you get a super cheap cost per click and hence super cheap a cost sales. So how often is it going to happen for you? I can't tell you that, but the only way to find out is to test it for yourself. So just try setting one up and you'll find out exactly how this could work. And by the way, in a second, I'm going to tell you guys how to supercharge this so that if you set one up and you're getting super low a cost sales, you have a way to scale it. So let's dive deeper into that example here. So let's actually look at the breakdown of the different placements. So we got product page placements. We have an 11% a cost. Rest of search, we had a 6% ACoS. Top of search, we had a low volume of orders, but they were at a 1% ACoS, which is incredible. So what happened there? Well, top of search is the most competitive placement. That's where the highest bids are. That's where everybody wants to be because it's above the fold when people search, it's the first thing they see. So we're less likely to get those. But when we get them, they're super powerful, super low ACoS because there's very high intent and it's the first thing people click and it's the first thing that they see. So it's likely to be the leanest, but it's likely also not to necessarily be the place where you get the most sales. Rest of search came in second place um, and really it's the big winner, right? Because it still has super low ACoS, 6% ACoS, but we got 65 orders from it. Product pages also did well, 11% ACoS, also great. And we got 17 orders from it still. Not so bad, right? Now let's look at another one of our brands. Here we have a 14% ACoS where we spent $100 on ads and we got $700 in sales from those ads. The whole account has an average of 57% ACoS, so a 14% ACoS is really, really good for us. And again, the volume, not huge, but still, we wouldn't say no to it, right? I'm not gonna say no to 14% ACoS sales, even if it's at a low volume, when my whole account average for ACoS is 57%. Let's take a look at the placements on these. So for top of search, we got no orders. Rest of search, we got five orders at a 1.3% ACoS. And product pages, we actually got the most orders, but it wasn't the best ACoS. It was seven orders at 16.8% ACoS. It's funny, when you're talking scavenger campaigns, 16% ACoS, now sounds high, right? But in general, that's a super low ACoS for any brand. That's gonna be a super acceptable ACoS. Let's look at another one. So for this brand where we sell staircase parts, we were able to spend $16 in ads to get $1,530 in ad revenue from these scavenger campaigns, which is a 1% ACoS. Whereas the whole account ACoS average is 21%, which is already really good. Now, if you're getting luck with these campaigns and you want to try to get even more low ACoS sales from this type of campaign, what you want to do is duplicate it in as many different ways as possible. So if you've tried one match type, try setting it up the exact same way with all your products, with all the suggested keywords, but do a different match type or try changing from sponsored products to sponsored brands and try the same or similar type of configuration there. You wanna just duplicate it as many different ways as possible. And this is the fractal strategy that we use across all our brands, all our campaigns, across the $3 million plus dollars monthly that we spend in Amazon ads as one of the single top spenders of ads on the platform is you find out what's working well, and you fractally open that up and go deeper and deeper into what's working well while killing what's not working well. If you know you need a partner to help you run your ads and grow your brand profitably, that is what my company Sophie Society does. You can click the link in the description of this video to see if you apply to a partnership with me where me and my team take over your Amazon PPC ads to grow your brand profitably together. And if you wanna learn about another super profitable campaign configuration type, that produces a low volume of high profit sales that's totally different than scavenger campaigns. It's called an STPP campaign. It was discovered by one of my guys named Dave two years ago inside Sophie Society. Click here to learn about how to set up step campaigns for yourself. This is a very interesting glitch in Amazon sponsored product campaign setup that allows you to set up super lean campaigns that what are, they're essentially doing is instant retargeting. So I recommend you taking a look at that video there 
and I'll see you next time.